Welcome back to Boss Caesar, where today we will be looking at the top 10 future electric cars to watch out for. Electric cars, also known as electric vehicles, EVs, are automobiles that run primarily or entirely on electric power stored in batteries. And today we will be looking at future electric cars that are already in production or soon to be available in the nearest future. One Alfa Romeo Giulia EV. The Alfa Romeo Giulia is a compact executive car that will transition to an all-electric vehicle, EV, by 2027. The next generation Giulia is expected to be available for purchase in 2025. The 2025 Giulia EV is expected to have an electric powertrain, a range of over 500 miles, and potentially more than 1,000 horsepower. The base level Giulia EV may have 350 horsepower, while the Veloce may have 800 horsepower. The Quadrifoglio version may have 1,000 horsepower. Alfa Romeo is finalizing its plan to become a fully electric car company by 2027, and its Giulia compact executive car will survive the transition by becoming an EV. It's expected to sit on the Stellantis STLA large architecture, which will also underpin other EVs from the Italian brand. The current Giulia was first launched in 2016, and it received minor cosmetic tweaks in 2020 alongside a refreshed infotainment system. We're unlikely to see an internal combustion engine successor to the Giulia given Alpha's switch to electrification is just five years away, so we're anticipating only mild tweaks to the current model towards the end of its lifespan. Hey Giulia EV's underpinnings will offer a minimum of 800 kilometers, 497 miles, of range, with battery sizes ranging from 101 kilowatt hours to 118 kilowatt hour, according to Stellantis investor information. This would give the electric Gilia the longest range of any EV in the UK, beating the 485 mile Mercedes EQS into second place. It will also have class-leading rapid charge capability with up to 20 miles of range added per minute. 2. Apple Titan EV Apple's electric car project is codenamed Titan. The project is currently under research and development. Apple is aiming to release the Apple car to consumers in 2026, with testing beginning in 2025. However, Timelines have been pushed back several times due to development issues. According to Apple Insider, the car will not be ready to launch for years yet, with 2024 at the earliest, though 2027 seems to be more realistic. According to Forbes, Project Titan is a computer on wheels. Their initial plan was to develop a fully autonomous vehicle with no steering wheel or pedals and include a seating arrangement that faced inwards, allowing for riders to have face-to-face -face conversations. However, it turned out its ideas were too ambitious, and it scaled back to a more traditional vehicle design. The driver will be required to manually drive it on city streets with a self-driving mode available for highways. The car will use LiDAR sensors, cameras, and radar sensors to allow the car to drive autonomously on freeways. In 2017, the California DMV granted Apple permits to test its self-driving technology. 2015. Lexus RX 450H SUVs were spotted on the streets of San Francisco, equipped with cameras and sensors all over the body of the car. Apple CEO Tim Cook confirmed the rumors about Apple's plan for developing autonomous driving software. Although the company has not released much information in regard to the car, it is aiming to launch by 2026 with a price point under $100,000. The secrecy surrounding the project has many people skeptical that the vehicle's release may be pushed back to a later date. I'll talk most details about the Icar R still awaiting release. It is certain that the car will be fully integrated with Apple's other products. Using iOS systems, users will be able to unlock and start the vehicle using their Apple devices and perform tasks such as calling, texting, GPS, etc. with voice commands. Apple placed John Gianandrea, Apple's AI and machine learning chief, to lead the project, developing an Apple chip four times the power of four Mac chips combined. This, along with the LiDAR sensors and cameras, 
will allow the car to have self-driving functions better than other manufacturers like Tesla. Another groundbreaking development is the electric battery that will be used in the iCar. Apple is creating a monocell design that will remove any excess space in the battery and hold the individual cells closer together. This will allow for more charge in a smaller package, reducing the cost of batteries exponentially. The interior is expected to carry over Apple's popular sleek and stylish designs from their electronic devices. A large iPad-style monitor in the middle of the dashboard and camera technology that allows operations to be controlled by hand gestures are just some of the features the trillion-dollar company plans to add to its vehicle. With some of the world's brightest minds working for Apple, this is just the tip of the iceberg for what the car can offer upon release. 3. Audi Q6 e-tron shoppers. Searching for a luxurious electric SUV have quite a few options these days, and Audi is gearing up to add yet another to the list. The 2025 Q6 e-tron. Slotting between the Q4 e-tron and Q8 e-tron, it aims to be a solution for those who find the former a bit too small and the latter a bit too big. The Q6 e-tron debuts the new premium platform electric architecture, which features a powerful 800-volt electrical system for faster charging and will be found underneath other future Audi EVs such as the Audi A6 e-tron. We expect the Q6 e-tron to have a standard all-wheel drive powertrain with dual electric motors, a setup that Audi will likely call Quattro. When it hits the market sometime in 2024, it'll rival other EV SUVs such as the Cadillac Lyric, the Genesis Electrified GV70, and the Lexus RZ. Audi hasn't released information on pricing for the Q6 e-tron yet, but we expect it to be priced in accordance with its position between the Q4 e-tron and Q8 e-tron models. We also expect it to follow a similar trim level structure, offering premium, premium plus, and prestige equipment groups in either conventional SUV or sloped sportback body configurations. A dual motor, all wheel drive drivetrain setup will likely be standard, and it's possible there will be a more powerful S model. The electric crossover will also likely offer convenient features, such as a wireless smartphone, charging pad, and keyless entry in addition to more luxurious options like heated and ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel. 4. BMW i5 MBMW's Executive Express is going electric with the mid-size 2024 i5 sedan, which will fill the gap between the 10 best award-winning i4 and the extra-premium i7 flagship. Like those two EV four-doors, the i5 is expected to blend driving pleasure with upscale creature comforts. Two powertrains are coming, starting with a rear-drive E-Drive 40 model with 335 horsepower. The dual-motor M60 X-Drive boosts horsepower to a stout 590 ponies and provides all-wheel drive traction. We had a chance to drive a prototype of the latter in France and came away impressed with its athleticism and satisfied with its onboard technology features. The i5 faces a growing number of medium-sized luxury electric cars made to court-moneyed buyers looking for eco-friendly choices. Among them are the Genesis Electrified G80 and the Mercedes-Benz EQE, as well as segment stalwarts such as the Porsche Taycan and the Tesla Model S. If you're looking to maximize range, the E-Drive 40 will be able to sail on for a bit longer than the performance-oriented M60 trim. We're driving enthusiasts, though, and we'd gladly trade a bit of range for extra horsepower and cornering grip. Two i5 models are offered, starting with the 335 HP E-Drive 40, which drives the rear wheels via a single electric motor. A hotter M60 X-Drive model adds a second electric motor on the front axle for a combined 590 HP. During our initial drive in an i5 M60 prototype, we were impressed by the sedan's agile handling, confidence-inspiring levels of cornering grip and muscular dual-motor powertrain. We drove both the E-Drive 40 and M60 models, and we estimate that the more powerful of the two powertrains can rocket the i5 to 60 mabops in just 3.3 seconds. 
M60 models also come with active anti-roll bars, a sporty suspension tune, wider tires, and rear wheel steering, which are all intended to give the car a more athletic feel. 5. Buick Electra Buick's electric future will wear a name from its gas-guzzling past. Electra. The first of the Buick Electra lineup will be the 2025 Electra E5 SUV, which will also be sold in China. Powered by General Motors' Ultium battery platform, the Electra E5 should deliver similar performance and driving range as the Cadillac Lyric. That should mean around 340 horsepower and around 300 miles of driving range per charge. The Electra E5's interior looks even more spacious than the gasoline-powered Envision SUV, and it features a curved 30.0-inch infotainment display that uses the same technology found in the Cadillac Escalade. The Electra E5 will be Buick's first electric offering when it goes on sale in late 2024. We know that it will be produced in China for the Chinese domestic market, but it's unclear if the North American version will be produced here or imported from Asia. From footages we've seen of the Chinese market E5, we can see that Buick has designed a stylish interior for its first EV model, and the materials look upscale too. Two rows of seats provide seating for up to five, and multicolored interior ambient lighting gives drivers ways to customize the vibe inside. We haven't sat in them yet, but the front seats look mighty comfortable, and the rear seat space looks quite generous. Six, Cadillac Celestic. Cadillac has been laboring in the shadow of European luxury brands for several decades, but it hasn't given up witness the company's new electric flagship, the Celestic Sedan. This stunner shares a family resemblance to the new Lyric EV SUV, but its sleek lines, sweeping roof, and bustle rear end give it dynamic proportions and jaw-dropping presence. Cadillac's designers say that they have incorporated design elements from the past alongside high-tech systems that predict the future direction of the American luxury brand. The cabin is just as dramatic as the exterior styling, and it dazzles with brightly colored leather, a 55-inch digital dashboard, and Eames-inspired bucket seats. The Celestique's assembly line will be manned by a small team of craftspeople who will hand-build each one. Customers will design their own Celestique when they order, similar to the Rolls-Royce method of bespoke production. Will that be enough to launch Cadillac out of the shadows? The Celestic is heading for production as an all-new model for Cadillac's 2024 lineup, but don't expect to see this showstopper sitting on your local dealer's showroom floor. Celestiques will be special ordered, tailored to each customer's specifications, and likely will be delivered as discreetly as they are purchased. The Celestique will be a unique model in the Cadillac lineup for several reasons, not least of which is the fact that each one will be built to order. By hand, Celestique production will necessarily be limited as a result. Cadillac says there's essentially no limit to customization opportunities, so we expect some buyers to create Celestiques that turn heads today and, and years from now when the cars turn up at future Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance. Although Cadillac has yet to release pricing information for its new flagship sedan, the company has said that it will start north of $300,000. Customization choices will no doubt push prices even higher. While much of the Celestique is highly customizable, its powertrain is not. All models come with a dual-motor, all-wheel drive electric powertrain that Cadillac estimates will make around 600 horsepower. The company says that's enough to launch the Celestique to 60 metipkais in 3.8 seconds, which would put it in the same league as entry-level models of the Audi e-tron GT and the Porsche Taycan. 7. Cadillac Escalade IQ Cadillac has unveiled the 2025 Cadillac Escalade IQ, an electric version of its best-selling SUV. The $130,000 Escalade IQ comes with 450 miles of driving range, Super Cruise driver assistance technology, and fresh design language inside and out. 
Cadillac has declined to specify how much the rig weighs, but a private preview on July 26 in Los Angeles indicated that it could weigh as much or more than the 9,000-pound GMC Hummer EV pickup. Besides being nearly 19 feet long and 8 feet wide, it's more than 6 feet tall with a ground clearance of nearly 7 inches, slightly larger than the dimensions of the Hummer EV, with less clearance. The Escalade IQ looks sleeker than its internal combustion predecessor, like something that might serve as a tycoon's town car rather than a truck for towing. It has an elegantly tapered lower roof line, slim headlights shaped like icicles, and taillights stacked like piano keys. A storage compartment under the hood, where an engine would otherwise be, offers 12 cubic feet of cargo room space to fit a pair of golf bags. The design brief was to create the ultimate luxury SUV, says Robin Krieg, lead exterior designer of the Escalade IQ, who says he sought to reinvent rather than reiterate previous models. We wanted to get away from the trucky boxy feeling. When you close your eyes and dream, this is what an Escalade is. The Escalade IQ uses a new architecture that General Motors Co. has devised for its EVs, which the company calls its Ultium platform. It follows the 58 590, Lyric and precedes the forthcoming Electric Celestique, a 340 Vatuin, four-door hatchback, aimed at snagging Rolls-Royce customers. The three represent part of GM's effort to catch Tesla in the EV segment, while revitalizing the Cadillac brand. GM has said it expects 50 billion dollars in revenue from its EVs by 2035. The Escalade EQ produces more than 200 kilowatt hours of available energy and will charge it to 100 miles of range in 10 minutes when using 800 volt DC fast charging, according to company estimates. It boasts 750s horsepower, 785 pound feet of torque, and a 0 to 60 mph sprint in fewer than 5 seconds. Cadillac rates its towing capacity at 8,000 pounds, but its polished exterior, comfortable interior, and hefty price tag make it better suited for Hollywood Boulevard than heavy lifting. 8. Lucid Air The sheer amount of engineering needed to design the 2024 Lucid Air is staggering on its own. Name another electric car that can jump to 60 meta-ph in 3.0 seconds and then glide over 400 miles before needing to be recharged. Even high-dollar rivals such as the Porsche Taycan, the Mercedes-AMG EQS 53, and the Tesla Model S can do only one of those things. The new Air Sapphire Performance model is even quicker, with a claimed 60-amp time of under 2.0 seconds, but it's the entry-level Pura trim that has our attention, and a 10 Best Award for 2024, with its blend of luxury, relative affordability, and extra-long driving range. Lucid achieves these heroic feats with clever tech, a novel battery design, and power-dense electric motors that benefit from the company's experience in Formula E racing. On top of all that, the Air wears a designer look and has a premium cabin that's spacious enough for four adults, even when traveling long distances. The sedan's nearly six-figure starting price leaves us wanting a bit more in terms of interior luxury, but the Air's cabin is stylish and upscale nonetheless. Like other startup automakers, in-car tech is still a moving target, but the Air's three-screen dashboard promises to improve over time by way of over-the-air updates, pushed from the brand's Silicon Valley HQ directly to the car's complex circuitry. As if the Air needed more power, Lucid has launched the high-performance Sapphire trim for 2024, complete with three electric motors pumping out a combined 1234 horsepower. To go along with the Sapphire's Mega Power powertrain, Lucid has retuned the suspension, tweaked the traction control system, installed carbon ceramic brake rotors, and swapped in unique wheels with extra sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. On the other end of the Air's lineup, a new entry-level rear-wheel drive Pure model has emerged with an attractively low entry price and 410 miles of estimated driving range. 
The Pure now comes only with rear-wheel drive, as the AWD configuration has been discontinued. Lucid is also offering new option packages for the lower-end Pure and Touring trim levels that include features such as heated rear seats, a power-opening front and trunk, and soft closed doors. The entry-level Air Pure features a single electric motor driving the rear wheels and produces 430 horsepower. Other models have dual electric motors that provide all-wheel drive and a variety of horsepower ratings. The Touring model generates 620 horses and the Grand Touring makes 10 to 50. The new top dog is the 1234 horsepower Lucid Air Sapphire, which has three electric motors. The additional motor is mounted at the rear and provides insane acceleration performance to compete with the Tesla Model S Plaid. Lucid also claims a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The Air has the longest range of any electric vehicle currently on the market, according to EPA estimates. Grand Touring models of the Air feature a 112.00 kilowatt-hour battery pack and DC fast charging capability, while the Pure and Touring trims use a smaller 92 kilowatt version. The base Pure has an estimated driving range of 410 miles, whereas the mid-range Touring is estimated to travel 425 miles per charge. The Grand Touring and Grand Touring Performance models offer up to 516 and 446 miles of range, respectively. On our 75 miles per hour highway route, the Grand Touring went 410 miles, making it the longest range EV we've ever tested. The Touring we tested went for just 280 miles before needing to be recharged, and the RWD Pure went on for 300 miles before the battery depleted. Plugged into a fast charger, the sedan is said to be able to recoup 300 miles of range in 21 minutes. New owners will also enjoy three years of free, fast charging at Electrify America charging stations. There's no cap on how many times owners can charge their cars as long as it's used for personal and not commercial purposes. 9. Rivian 1T A few million new pickups are sold in the U.S. each year, and while there are only a few fully electric offerings, no truck is as quick as the Rivian R1T. Making as much as 835 horsepower, the R1T can get to 60 Miapri Chis in 3.00 seconds, a few tenths quicker than a Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, and can tow as much as 11,000 pounds, all in near silence. People who have bought a tent or a pair of REI hiking boots will feel familiar with this upper-class, outdoorsy interior. There's a honkin' 15.6-inch touchscreen in the middle of the dash and finely stitched leather up and down the seats. Though EV pickups are somewhat niche, the R1T does have its rivals, the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Chevrolet Silverado EV, and the GMC Hummer EV Sut are the only other stores to visit in this segment. None of them do it like the Rivian, which features a super helpful gear tunnel for additional storage between the truck bed and cabin. Its max DC fast charging rate of 220 kilowatts complements its EPA-estimated range of up to 410 miles nicely. Add some off-road chops into the equation, and the R1T is one of the most capable EVs ever. 10. Tesla Model S Plaid While Tesla has moved on to flashy new products such as the Cybertruck, the 2024 Model S carries on in its role as the brand's flagship luxury car. Its maximum estimated range of 405 miles per charge sits near the top of what buyers can expect from an EV, and its impressive performance and sports sedan agility combine for a grin-inducing drive. Several rivals are edging in on Tesla's territory, though, including the Lucid Air, which offers more range, similar performance, and a more upscale experience inside its cabin. Tesla's Notoriety remains difficult to compete with and the same can be said for the brand's sprawling network of fast-charging supercharger stations. These things, combined with the car's high-tech features and impressive estimated driving range, keep the Model S in contention with its rivals. With an electric motor dedicated to each of the front and rear axles, the Model S offers full-time all-wheel drive no matter which version you choose. The acceleration of the two models 
ranges from outstanding to unbelievable. The Tesla Model S we tested reached 60 Mediator pH in a blistering 2.4 seconds, while the played version, which boasts a third electric motor, reached 60 MBI in just 2.1 seconds. Driving range varies from model to model, with the long range model offering up to 405 miles per charge and the Plaid not far behind at 359. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. Until next time.